A wonderful way for a teacher to um, have some great information text is to um, explore books like this, Come and Learn With Me by Cheyenne Jumbo and Mindy Ouellette, and Residential Schools with the Words and Images of Survivors by Larry Loyi. And so this one here has a northern perspective, and you can see right here, it's a little girl, and she's in her community. She's the everyday lived experience, you know, meet my family. You know, do you have this on your bookshelf? Do you have this in your library? You know, looking at the natural resources from their community, the food they eat, you know, the ceremonies they explore together. Looking at their classrooms, the beating, the north, the landscape. Here we see, you know, traditional food harvesting, um, you know, their transportation, the dolls they make, the hides they scrape. So really looking at information texts that um, share the knowledge of the local Indigenous population and making sure that it's displayed. It's readily available for children to read. Um, Residential Schools by Larry Loyi, who is the late Larry Loyi, wonderful man. And of course, it's general information. Yes, it's heavy information, but do we have it readily available for children to navigate? Can, can they flip through it and can they read a survivor's story? Um, can they understand, you know, here's Riel, you know, looking at the banned potlatch. You know, when children have downtime and, and we say go read, it, go read a piece of information, not all children want to read a novel. Not all children want to read a picture book. Some children really thrive through looking at facts, figures, information. And so ensuring that we have um, pieces like this that are just readily available for, for children to navigate the missionaries, um, you know, the hidden crime, looking at social clubs and movie nights, looking at a local First Nation community, Blue Quills, a family story. So information texts are absolutely important and ensuring that we have um, information texts with an Indigenous perspective.